if you guys want to stick around and see how I get these beautiful um, knotless box braids just keep watching this video I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how I get this knotless box braids if you guys do want to see me do a more in-depth um, territorial of exactly how I apply these knotless guy um, box braids just let me know drop it in the comment section box below and I'll be more than happy to go ahead and do that for you guys I know, but I You guys so I'm gonna start off with the color um, with this gold mixture color in the bottom and then right now all I'm doing is I'm separating the pieces them that I'm going about to use this is a braiding gel that I'm about to use I do find it really um, nice it doesn't leave any residue behind so I do like that so I'm double checking my part to make sure it is all part straight I'm not too fancy about the parts I'm in the bag, but I do just want to make sure it is still a little even. So now I'm just going to show you guys how I braid the back of my hair. I'm going to do it real fast. Um, and I'm going to slow down when I get in the front so you guys can better see a different pattern of how I um, braid my hair. Okay, just don't mind the little flakes that is coming out of my hair on my shirt. I do travel with dry scalp. So um, that's why you see that right there. It's getting a lot better because I do found this amazing shampoo. It's been working for me. So yeah, that's been getting a lot better. So I do like that. If you guys ever um, have any products that you guys normally use for dry scalp, just drop it in the comment section box below and I'll be more than happy to look into that and see if that works for me as well. But yeah, that's been I've been suffering with that dry scalp for years. But I do find a vinegar shampoo that's been working for me. So, yeah. I always get the question, every time I do my box braids or my knotless box braids, I always get the question, how do you do your hair? And it was like, oh my God, your hair is so nice. Who did it? And I'm like, I did my own hair. And I was like, how do you do that? So I always get the question. So I'm like, one day I was like, let me go ahead and just sit down and record myself doing my own box braids. So you guys could see how I do my hair. Um, I do love braiding my own hair. Sometimes I do sit down. Sometimes I don't um, I think I have the time to do it. But when I do sit down, I um, do it. I do it so well that I love it. And I think today is one of those days where I'm really enjoying braiding my hair. So I think it's going to turn out so beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just sitting there. Adding some more pieces. I kind of do like that gold color. The mixture of the different shades of blonde. I do like that on there as well. Now I'm going to go in with the brown reddish color. I'm not, I don't remember the name or the number of that hair, but it is like a reddish brownish. All right, so here you see I already added the brown. I added, the, basically I added the gold, the reddish brown, and the number four. 
Now on the top portion right here, I'm starting to do, I'm doing with all black. So I'm gonna end with my number one. If you can see my little dry scalp right there, but don't worry, that will disappear after I put my little edge control on there. But yeah, I do make sure my parting in the front is precise because that's the ones you could be seeing. The one in the back, I try my best to get it straight, but definitely, of course, it's not, it's really possible to get it perfect because you can't really see in the back of your hair. But the front, I'm do making sure that I'm able to part that precisely. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. Okay, you guys, so I made it onto my second row. So I'm just putting some edge control to keep the flyaways from getting in the, the part that I'm about to start braiding. So this is where I'm gonna show you guys how I part it in three. And I do my under and over type stuff. I did that for two times, and then I'm gonna start adding in the braids. Not the braids, but the extension. I'm gonna start adding in the extension in there. This pattern works for me. I know um, some people say it doesn't work for them. This one works for me. I would definitely love to give you guys a more slow motion, closer depth of that after I finish with this video. On another video, I could definitely do that. You guys just share it with me if you guys want to see how I add the extension in my hair to make it a lot easier. Then I just reflip the hair, keep in the same pattern of how I'm braiding it. Just to turn it, I, all I did is turn the hair over and continue braiding like the opposite side. So that's what I'm doing right here. Like I flipped the braid over so I could change the rotation of my fingers and start continue braiding from here. Okay, so I didn't finish my hair. Um, so this is the following day. I got up and it was just the front part of my hair. So all the black, the ones I'm with the black is the one that I'm gonna finish up today. It's gonna take me like two hours to finish this. Um, yeah, so all I'm doing is just simply adding it in there and keep it going. This is day two. As I said, I did the first day was it's like about three and a half hours of braiding and now today is two hours. And then I'm going to add the little beads and the little, you know, decorations in my hair. Not much because I do like to keep it really classy. And, yeah, that's me braiding my own hair, you guys.
guys can see this is a finished look but I do like this here I, I did went ahead and did some colors I just show random colors different shades of blonde and brown and reds and I went ahead and did like a number four and a um one number one on top so number one then I have four and I did went into the reddish color which is this one right here that's the one I put right there and then on the bottom the very bottom it was these um gold ones so um yeah